Hello again. Welcome back to the JMC Reviews. Once again, we find ourselves in my favorite month of the year, October. start this month out by going back to a very old time horror film and since I already went through all the Universal Monster Classics and last year I covered the original 1922 silent film adaptation of Dracula, Nosferatu. The pickings are getting a little hard for the classics so I thought to keep up with this year's ongoing theme of short film reviews I jump into a little short film that has ties to the Universal Monster Classics and one I became familiar with thanks to this Frankenstein collection from Universal. This is the 1932 parody short film, Boo! And uh, Ooga Booga to you too. If you ever had this DVD collection and went through the bonus features, then you probably know what I'm talking about with this short, but for those who don't, Boo is a nine minute comedy short made up of primarily archive footage from the early Universal Monster Classics, with many of the scenes re edited and exaggerated, along with a riff happy narrator just taking the piss out of what should be pretty scary scenes. The exact details of how it was released is pretty unknown, other than appearing as a bonus feature on the Frankenstein DVD collection. I couldn't really find much about it. The short opens with a Carl Lamel presents a universal brevity. We get a simple but cute little opening credit. The short gives its only two production credits, its writer-director-producer Albert Damon, a screenwriter with over 130 film and TV credits to his name, and the short's editor, Lynn Harrison. Cause if anyone has earned credit on this thing, it's the fucking editor. And one of the only bits of original footage shot for Boo, we see a man, played by an uncredited Morton Lowry, reading Dracula while having dinner. This is the bookworm that turned, inside out. Of course, if you can work up a chill, it helps. Is the book in Aramaic? I mean, why is the title on the right side? Perhaps it was dictating. Oh, shut up. We get commentary from an extremely snarky narrator providing the only dialogue in the short. So the caretaker comes downstairs with a hatchet. I don't know how he got upstairs, but anything can happen in a nightmare. After lecturing the guy's choice of lobster and milk for dinner, and I can't blame him. The man falls into a food coma, triggering a trippy dream about Dracula. He better keep away from the casket or he'll be coughing. Grr. In a peculiar move, instead of using footage from the Bela Lugosi version, Universal instead uses clips from Nosferatu, which they got from a copy originally meant to be destroyed after that film's legal brouhaha with Bram Stoker's widow. We get several scenes of Dracula, some reverse and some rerun, kind of like a prototype Kung Pao enter the fist. The narrator provides a ton of jokes, a lot of them surprisingly aimed at Congress. It looks as though he's having his ups and downs. He acts like Congress and always ends up where he started. Eventually the Frankenstein monster enters the dream. It looks as if the doctor is going to need a doctor. No, we were wrong. The doctor's going to need an undertaker. At one point, the short takes a break from Nosferatu and starts using clips from the 1930 mystery film, The Cat Creeps. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and this is what makes Boo stand out, because The Cat Creeps has unfortunately become a lost film that no one has been able to properly view for the better part of a century. So until some unsuspecting bonehead stumbles across a copy in his basement, Boo contains the only surviving footage of the cat creeps. There's the profile that has won first prize in all the ghost beauty contests. You gotta give the narrator this. He ain't sleepwalking with the snark. And with the short being made in the pre-code era, the narration has a bit more of a bite to it than you'd see from a normal 1930s film. We even get some jokes that you know wouldn't go over well today. He can't decide which way to go. He's like a woman automobile driver. Oh boy. The monster thinks chasing women is a lot of fun. She starts to run with a monster behind. Well, as long as you just keep it to chasing Frankie. They start to play follow the leader. Then it becomes ring around the rosy. 
The short raps of the Frankenstein monster moping over how nobody seems to find him scary. Then our sleepy cunt from the beginning wakes up, hanging from a chandelier in complete jitters. The narrator gives one more jab at the guy's milk and lobster diet. And the moral of this story is, you can milk a cow, but a lobster is very ticklish. And then it's over. And that's that. So yeah, Boo's nothing special, it goes by pretty fast, but it gets a few good laughs, and the narrator is very infectious in his jabbing, so it's pretty easy to get into, and overall, I'd say it's harmless, it's stupid, but kinda cute. Basically, it's the 1930s equivalent of a YouTube poop video, made by someone with way too much time on their hands. But who am I to judge? Ah, uh, worse than a rabid-ass baboon. Hope you enjoyed this quick little start to October. We got another short coming up. This one, more iconic and uh, music based. <laughs> When Dracula was born, his mother took one look at that face and had herself arrested. <laughs>